on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world and share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. Spring Invite 2023 Open Division action coming at you live from Leuven, Belgium. The hosts jet set after a scintillating final advance, sorry, semi final, advancing into the final against Bad Skid from Germany. But my goodness, Francis Dieterle alongside Hannah Pendlebury in the booth this fine, blustery, breezy, but generally temperate Sunday afternoon. That was quite a semi we had against the two Belgian sides. That was an absolute barn burner. It was wonderful to see Jet Set's defensive pressure. Gentles as well, really a heavy defensive game going back and forth, exchanging big blows. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this final. I think that we're probably going to see more of the same. Similarly high octane offenses. We're going to have a lot of big throws. And with the win, I think it's going to be another defensive game. Certainly. Well, Baskid had the lighter load coming into this tournament in the pool of three. Four pool strong, a set of 15 teams here in Leuven. Things sort of shaking out through the divisions. This uh, game has been slightly delayed versus the rest of the schedule, so hopefully teams will finish off and maybe flood in to check out the action. So they advanced pretty much smooth cruising and their semi-final coming into this against Terrible Monkeys who did marvellously well. Very young roster coming out of that Czech team and only 12 of them able-bodied this morning. They advanced 15-8 over their opponents so had a pretty chill, pretty soft sort of, you know, day so far. But obviously Baskid coming off of a shock loss at German Nationals last seen. Many of their players on the World Games roster, plenty of commitments having to go across that. So this is sort of not quite a rebirth season for Badskid, but certainly a resettling season. Certainly. Badskid, kind of the elder statesman of German Ultimate. They've dominated Nationals for a 10-year span from 2011 to 2021, going that those 10 years without losing a single finals. Um, so... Finals this last year between up-and-comers Heidi's and Wall City, two sort of rising German programs. Um, but again, this German team, the bad skin, they're just loaded with talent. And I think that Gentle, uh, uh, sorry, excuse me, Jet Set, they're going to have some difficulties containing some of the star power on this team. They're really looking to focus on pressuring those star handlers, though the Nico Mueller, 
uh, the Nico Mueller's. And then they're also seeing that Holger Boyton, Boyton Mueller, number 19, is coming off of injury. They're drinking, they really want to push him deep. They actually want to test him and see if he's as good of a deep receiver as he was before. Maybe hoping that they can win some of those battles in the air. Absolutely. Those one-on-one -on -one matchups went so well during the quarterfinal for Jet Set, but one can't help but think with the relatively fresh bad skid squad, you know, four games was a lot for Jet Set to take on yesterday, and they really did have to grind their way through the championship bracket. You know, it's can the stars of Jet Set keep up and keep their composure versus bad skid? A couple of times, some high risk options had to be taken in the semi, you know, just threading that needle, using those trust balls. And we did see a comeback from Gentle late stages that, uh, you know, you can really unglue them if you take away the A game between those individuals. Who would you shout out in terms of players to look at for Jet Set? Because we talked about the German names. Um, on offense, you're definitely going to see Don Demar, number 19, Mooncatcher's player. We saw him with that scintillating <laughs> Callahan in the end zone, just a layout, full extension for Jet Set's first point of the game. And number five, Tom Blossman from. Uh, normally from Kruz coming over and picking up with Jet Set and also Lucas Bouchon, uh, an Isno player, number three today with the machine shorts, red hat. He's a very s strong defensive player who's going to move the disc after a turn. enjoying those cheers here both teams are ready to play getting themselves pumped of course what on the line here is a free ticket into the european championship finals in wrocław poland later this year and my trusty hand model is getting himself ready to show you a four mentioned golden ticket francis Dieterle available for hire as a beautiful hand model he's going to show us now lovingly caress the EUCF disc. It's nice and gold and shiny. It's a lovely format. We're really enjoying these spring invite events, early season opener, allowing teams to really get that high level competition, which we love to see because it's just such an opportunity. Bad Skid, as we said, trying to come back into this season with a plum. They have a couple of youngsters on their roster new, a couple of returning players as well, some, some familiar faces that we'll point out as this game goes on. But uh, it's really nice to see them with a big squad. Previous years, they've sort of struggled to bring enough of a roster to these sort of early season events. One can't help but think of the fact that Treble Monkeys from the Czech Republic, after doing so well in the bracket, ended up having to forfeit. They'll take fourth here in Reuven. But underway, Bad skid on offense to start us. Far side, squeezing down the sideline, rising. Decent flow across. Boyd Muller, three available on this team. Reinhardt. Easy shot up line, knocking on the doorstep. Everyone's sort of clustering on that far side, but found the mark. It's going to give us a brief pause. See that a very tight mark on Holger Bortenmuller in that number 19 shirt. Somewhat elongated discussion, but back in play. Nice dancing around the mat. Excellent footwork from Samuel Boitmuller. Just another brief discussion, but back in on zero. Everything relatively stack it. Boitmuller looking for Boitmuller, but having to go around, and it's going to be smacked down. There's a foul on the throw. Trying to hit. 
Hannah, despite the foul, I think that Jet Set is executing their game plan so far. They really wanted to slow down their end zone offense. They know that Badskid is very dynamic in the end zone using that triangle. And a high one over the top. <laughs> a little bit of eyes for Holger Bottenmuller. And that is the first one on the board for Badskid. Not the easiest in the world, but a clean hold nonetheless. He's still got it. Oh, baby, he's got it. Oh, we didn't, they, didn't, they didn't send him deep. Didn't force him to use his legs. That was just slinking passes up the sideline. Still a nice, solid jump right there from Beutenmuller. See that knee injury. The talismanic leader of Badskid, based out of the whole Bron region. And generally, players within about sort of an hour's drive. Whereas, of course, Jet Set have to contend with uh, moon catches in Brussels. We're not too far away from the European capital. Yeah, Jet Set sort of competing for that second slot behind moon catchers so far. We saw them overtake their regional and country rivals gentle in the game before this. Now we'll see their offense. Jets are a team that have turned up and won gold actually at the European Beach Championships last season. Back in the party in Portimao, as we lovingly refer to it. But this is a chance for them to learn how to win, in the words of Silke de la Fortry. They're always the bridesmaids. The way they've been playing so far this tournament, maybe they'll finally get a ring on the finger, so to speak. High one, though, is going to overshoot Blasman. Look, Heyman's pulled a lot of duty in the semi-final and was almost picture perfect for throws. That one just sails too far. Let's see if yeah, Jet Set can slow down that end zone offense once again. Well, opportunity up, line taken. Again, Braskid generally quite close for their stack, but that's going to open up the around space. Nice sitter to Schwann. Jan Schalt, stall count rising, and I have to put something up. It's an easy reset in the end. Injury call. That looks to be Robens, I think, coming off. Hartman with the disc. Easy pop back to Shal. The stage in the game, you're very happy to just take those easy resets. Although. It's going to be a bit of a frustrated shot. Blasman laying out, not quite, and the break. And that is a nice way for the defensive line to convert. Really surprisingly patient for a D-line. I think that you'll find that bad skid are quite disciplined. They're experienced in these sorts of situations. Jörg Reiner has, uh, gets a nice bid just past the defender, Tom Blasman, right there. Well, an execution error for Jet Set. When we were chatting before the game, Francis, we discussed that maybe if you get a couple of breaks up on Jet Set, that belief starts to seep out of them. Might be too much of an ask for one day for them to hang tough here. That's right, that's Simon Hiller on the grab past Blasman. I think that momentum, as you said, Hannah, is going to be very key in this game. If Badskid can really build up some steam and get off a couple of breaks, Jet Set are less used to playing in these final situations. Even though if they have the home crowd, I think that emotionally it might be a little bit too much to contend if their offense isn't clicking. Well, either way, for the defensive line of Jet Set, it's nice to play against a bit more novelty than in their previous game. But they're going to have to punch in these O points. And a melt now. I think that was initially a Zoni Pochi style look, but true match. Demare had Blasman on the far sideline. 
opponents. Doesn't like the look of anything. Drew a little bit of a bump from the mark, but it's all good. Christoph Phillips. He wasn't happy with uh, how he played in the semi-final, so chance to redeem himself here, perhaps. The captain, Viana. High release, lovely up line to Demare. Had the option available on the break side, chooses the open on the fourth. Look at it. The goal is caught. Excellent touch on that path from Demare. Allowed the receiver to throw thing to get a, several looks at it. Yeah, Robbins keeping his eyes on the prize. You can so you can see the nervousness though, the tension as he stares down that disc. But it is a really important moment. You have to hold. You can't get broken twice on the bounce to open up the game. Otherwise, that's giving Basket way too much leeway. Great little break from Brett Heymans there. Just lifting that backhand over the mark and, and bending the throw with the wind. A very talented handlet for Jet Set. So, Jet Set's D line with a job to do. That early break is going to start to hurt. Big shot coming out of the blocks. Something that Jet Set did really well. We stopped Gentle's loping game, but way too adventurous on trying to get the block. Play the disc, not the player. And an easy one over the goal line, dished off by Samuel Buttenmuller. The Boyton brothers still got it, and Holger is showing that. Or was that Samuel? That was Samuel. That, that was Samuel. <laughs> but uh, not, on, not on that big long catch. You can see that sort of flail hope D. Dusher with the long grab. Dusher's another one of those players out of that German World Games squad that took down both the United States and Canada in Alabama this past summer. Absolutely. The player from Karlsruhe. Made sort of a bit, bit more of a household name on Hashlika Erftverkel. One of the greatest names in Ultimate, I contend, <laughs> for a team. It's <laughs> Ugly Aardvark in English? Ugly Aardvarks, yeah. <laughs> But uh, coming across to the Open Division, although well, represented Team Germany back in 2019 as an Open player, but Jet Set just looking to keep things simple, get the hold. Dimache, the junior team member or JTM of Jet Set. Thing looking. A lot lower paced in terms of the movement and speed on the pitch. But a give it going now. Heyman's across to Damare. This is really nice flow. Dan Damare fakes the mark out something chronic. Ravier around. Just slowly nudging their way towards the end zone. Oh, and there's the shot front cone. Classic. I'll have a flake in that, please. It's Phillips with this goal. So a very measured piece of offense there, Francis. Look at the patience from the Jet Set handlers. I think that one of the things that they showed in the gentle game, when they went up those few breaks, they stabilized the ship is that they Really just found the open spaces to throw into. They put those space and those passes right into space for the receivers to run onto. They know that they have the foot speed to beat bad skin. I think that this is going to be much more of a battle of mental preparation, seeing if they're ready to. They know they're the underdogs. They need to see if they're ready to put the pieces together to win this. Well, this game has started relatively calmly there isn't the frantic defense we saw the last stream game but certainly some strong throwing power in this wind from basket she says commentators cursing herself oh and look at that double double check 
Quad Fox just making sure that that disc stays firmly on the ground. It'll be caught out by not catching his Ds. Wild fakes from Visca. Up line, Bouchon. With the fetching Jogo Bonito hat. Over the top, nice blade. Big stretching around. Visca gives. This is a bit more energetic from the offense for Jet Set. Really having to grind as Bazga try and clamp down and get the disc back. This would be putting us back on serve if Jet Set can only hold it. But an overshot comes. Can't hit Moyerson. Really quick pace moving it down the field. No mark, easy shots taken. Waldvogel, easy pop out in front, Boyton Muller with the disc. Oh, and just an absolute break around. So fast out the stack, not even the defender noticed. Sneaking in with the score, Michael Boyton Muller. The brothers connect, and he immediately goes, having used all that speed and energy, and sits down in the dugout. Conservation of energy like a pro. What I like on that point is not only how bad Skid played defense, as we get another look at this great D from Falk. Falk was just absorbing all that contact. Holger Boytenmuller throws an easy soft space throw to his brother. What it, but what I really like about that point for Bad Skid is as soon as the, the turn happened, not everybody was rushing to pick up the disc, they really made space for each other and chained together three passes to get the disc to the opposite side, which opened up the, a lot of space for the handlers to work in. But they are fallible about skids. Last point has proven it. Jet Set now just being to play conservative. Heymans. Beautiful disc out into space for Demare, and it's a grab in the end zone, back corner, yes. Please. That is a connection you can expect to see all game long. Heyman's really showing off his throwing prowess. I think that good throwers can put up those, uh, those hucks consistently. Great throwers can put them up on same third. And Heyman's just puts that on a platter for Demai. Yep, so you said the phrase, same third. Not uh, not a rookie move you can pull, really. That, especially with the wind, you can't put too much blade on it, otherwise it's going to end up attacking. Just hangs it right in that back corner to get a little shot of the fetching Lilos, keeping all of our players safe. But some good news for Jet Set. Jet Set's still going to need to break. Absolutely, but it's still early stages in this game. Boitenmuller fakes the big, takes the nice gainer under to his brother. That one is nice and low, but well collected. Reimert around. Almost a casual rundown of that one. There is a call to a pause, but... Holger Boitenmuller just sauntering over to collect that disc. Looks like Jetset have also crossed over a couple of players from their O-line. They've got Phillips on number 95. Nico Muller, far side. Distributes to the back corner. <laughs> and that's a great grab by Stefan Dorsche. Well, we talked about connections you'd expect to see. That is also one. As we said last season, Bad Skid didn't get much chance to play together throughout the year with so much action happening, especially for the World Games players and those on the extended training roster thereof. Really great preparation that went into that tournament and it paid off. There were some big games that happened. Whereas here in Leuven, it's been pretty well, well, it feels like Bad Skid were on cruise control most of yesterday. 
again, Basket with the backdoor one seed. They got one less game, and it seems like their matchups through the quarters and semis have been slightly easier for them than for a Jet Set. But it's weird, because that can do very strange things to you psychologically as a team. Not having been tested quite the same way, pushed. Perhaps if this one does come down to the wire, that little bit of momentum, the, you know, the backing yourself a little bit more that Jet Set might have could negate any lack of energy in the legs in comparison to their more well-rested counterparts. But nice pop up the sideline to Blasman. Little bump, nothing to stop play. Heymans, two cuts streaking under, good communication to stop. De Marais sucks it deep. And that is a lovely throw just over the fingertips of the defender. Nothing he could do about it. Goal for Jet Set. Robins with the goal. Demare, he's going to be doing it. Sometimes, <laughs> he, sometimes he's going to get away with it. That was just a great throw. Yeah, great effort from, uh, and you'll have to forgive me, Matthias Wieberais, I think it is. Weberus. Weberus. I know the, the, it's a sort of double S sounding at the end. But yeah, great effort to try and sort of reach back and sort of claw the disc out of the air. <laughs> a little shake of the head of Heyman's there. Yeah, Weberus really tries to get the D there. He gets very close, but that throw was just too good from Demai. And great awareness from Robbins to just, uh, just bunny hop himself out of the way, out of danger. Low one for Boyton Ruler, but makes easy work of it. Dorsha streaming across. Oh, lefty out in front, but that's going to be a bridge too far even for Nico Ruler to cross. I don't think that Disher's thrown a pass this game. I think he's caught, maybe he's caught a goal. He's caught two goals so caught far. Caught two goals. I think that might be the first pass that he's actually had to throw. Well, Jet sets D-line with another opportunity. Not one to be missed, Bouchon far side. And a slicing pass through the pack. Jet set probably feeling a bit more at home playing horizontal they flipped up the strategy against their local rivals of gentle there's a big poach off in the center field but bouchon's just going to boost it towards the end zone and another beautiful pass just shy moyerson dished off to bouchon front corner squeeze and that's the break right back Bouchon really making a difference with his throws right there. Seems to have a slightly different style than some of the other Jet Set guys coming over from Isno. I believe he's also playing on the French Open team at UC later this year. But he just took some time to scan the field, size up the huck, and he saw what he liked and just put a picture perfect knifing forehand right there. Just yeah. cuts through the wind. You can really see Basket trying to force those big options, sort of putting that poach in the lane, but slightly off the main channel, just protecting that inside as the force takes away the full true around. But I actually quite like Jet Set throwing in this wind. Basket have not played on this pitch yet this tournament. They've not made it onto our live stream. And actually there is a bit of a difference in terms of the wind, in terms of the conditions, because we're about maybe half to three quarters of a meter higher up in the air than the rest of the fields here in Leuven. Definitely, there's slightly less tree covers where we are too. Nico Mula on his knees to feel that pull and squeaking every last centimeter out of it. With Wolfogel. Remma. Fock laying out, exposes himself a little bit. Boitemuller with the disc, looking for Dorsha in the end zone, and that's beautiful. Huck for Huck. Bad skid showing they can use the deep space just as well. <laughs> I 
that point went by so fast I didn't even have time to comment on the previous point. Bouchon finishing off the, the last one for Jet Set with another dad backhand. <laughs> Your favorite throw, Hannah? <laughs> I'm not a really big fan of the shovel pass, I'll be honest. Boyd Mueller is an excellent thrower. Just look at the... He steps away from his mark, he uses all of his trunk to put that out on a shelf for Disher. Slightly blading, but it doesn't matter. It's exactly the spot that Disher wanted it to be. I got a fantastic mental image when you said uh, uses his trunk, of the idea of him just having a large traveling case wherever he goes. I wonder how, how long a vacation do you think you could get off on, uh, on, on Beutenmuller's trunk? Three weeks. Long haul journey. He's, he's a big man. You'd have to, you'd have to a, pay an, an, an excess baggage charge for that. You for might sure. have to live in that trunk for the, for that vacation. <laughs> I think you could fit. <laughs> but Jet Set now just taking their time, trying to exploit the poachers. Blasman, who's fit in pretty well to this Jet Set roster, hailing from the Netherlands. Coming across. Max Milan Viana. It's just centering at the back. Big put. De Marais with players on his back. But no one able to stop him. As they all realise it's not going to be quite a goal. And just exposed right in front of the disc. Viane, the captain, grabs that one and tournament director. He's been working tirelessly. Honestly, I'm extra super duper impressed at Jet Set. Not only did they have the first game on Saturday morning, as we see that lovely replay, they've been TDing, they've had the extra game compared to their opponents, and they're looking really good. Not to mention taking care of the ulti TV crew. Exactly. Shout out to all the Frisbee mums who've uh, kindly opened their houses for us and all the frisbee mums everywhere especially dan de Marais mum from all of jet set she's gone mia but she was here at some point they just said they wanted to shout her out and of course all the fans at home but this game francis toe to toe now there's a lot more hucking than I expected, honestly. With the wind, I thought that offenses would choose to be a little bit more conservative, but they're flying just as high as they were in the previous game. Well, here in the low countries, we are very flat. There is usually quite a decent amount of wind because you don't have, you know, that cover from various hills and mountains. Even though those can obviously channel wind in various fun, different ways. But both these teams have got a lot of players who can put it even in the most blustery conditions. Müller certainly one, lasers it down that far sideline to Dursha. Easy one back. Not sure I particularly like leaving Müller with that much space. Von Vogel now. High rising. Good movement now, keeping the disc and the angle changing. Foul called, I think off the disc. York ran up with the disc. So our first look at uh, Badskid's end zone offense in a little while. See if Jetset can slow them down like they wanted. Another call. It does seem that like they like to have them in quick succession. They haven't been that many calls. What they do is usually double. Great patience from Badskid. Taking the options, but that one is just going to slip out of Müller's hands. Bouchon surveying the options has Robbins. Bouchon channeling to the deep space. He's gone. It's not going to be rewarded. But Jet Set are rewarded with retention of the disc. Visca. Everybody moving all at once for Jet Set. High stall. Bouchon with the fancy footwork far side. 
Oh, I love that blade so very much. That one might be a bit too loose, though. Going to have to be read well and is perfectly so. Evert Viska with the score. And that is another jet set break. Viska having a good game in the gentle semi final as well. Shwanky can do it in, on this side too with Bad Skid. You can tell that this point was important for Jetset. I think they were feeling a D right here. They were feeling the break. They crossed Demayo over. Good deep shot. I like that shot, even though there's the pinching defender from the open side. It looks like Jetset sort of put that sort of high and blady really in a, in a spot that only their receiver could get to it. And Fisker manages to spot that perfectly. He knows exactly where he's going to go. Just yeah. creates like an easy grab with one hand. I think the idea was to put it exactly where no one can get it, but it did definitely sit and track for a bit too long. Not quite the, uh, you know, 100% execution. But I think what Visco did really well was he established his space very early and held it, didn't let anybody muscle in and box him. So it knew where he needed to be. Big poach off the back. But taken to Boyton Ruler upfield. Working tirelessly and a hand block. Nice stuff from Walter Caron. Walter had a relatively quiet game in the semi, but big hand block. Can they make anything of it? Tis Kestens with the disc. Bad skid looking to grind and get this back. Huge momentum changer if Jet Set can get two breaks on the trot. Up line. Up the pick. Pick goal to bring us a brief moment of recovery. You can see all the players bending over, absolutely gunning for this. Team Up the Big, one of the leaders of this jet set side and a huge huge grab from Robbins straight to the front corner and that's three on the bounce for jet set and that's the host <laughs> Lucas Kestens with the goal <laughs> Lucas bringing into us into his home and treating us to a wonderful game here on the live stream hometown heroes jet set take half Now that is a well-deserved cheer, as you say, Lucas Tessin, but look at that hero redemption. I think that's Derek there, keeping the, the dream alive. And just immediately blazing to that front corner, the speed on Kirsten's. But that's a great way to take half for Jet Set Basket with the early advantage, taking that second point break. What a way to bring yourselves back Thinking of the words of Suka de la Fautry, Leuven learning how to win. Well, might well just do it here. Half time as the players take a break, so shall we. We'll be back with more of this action after these messages. These players aren't messing around. They want to crack on with this game ASAP. And we're not upset for that. Coming out and looking to massively consolidate that advantage. It's Jet Set on offense. Are they going to go four unanswered in the finals here? And perhaps get that golden ticket, but that's going to be too much of an ask for Tom Blasman. Big old wingspan. A quick short field turn, and that's going to be an easy pick for Bad Skid. Hitting Yannick Volk for the goal. Always a little bit worrisome sometimes when your D line is out too long. Offensive players sometimes get a little bit cold, they lose that feeling of the game. Bad Skid really capitalized on this nice and fast.
So Hannah, you talked to Bad Skid before. They're down only by one point right now. What do you think that they need to come back and take this game? I think it's about finding a bit more energy. Like I know on offense, Bad Skid have some really just solid connections. They have a generally pretty unshakable roster. There's a couple of new faces this season on their O-line. They've got two youngsters on board, one of whom I believe turned 14 last week or this. The youngster Benjamin, Sh Benjamin Schenk playing in number 21. But I think it's just finding a bit more fire on defense. At the moment, it just feels like when they've gotten turns, it's been more a case of jet set making some maybe focus or some tiredness errors rather than actually really getting that many blocks. But of course, defense isn't about being showy blocks all the time. Putting on pressure can sometimes be enough. But Blastman now. I won. Oh my goodness. I think that was just literally with the skin on his fingertips. That grab for Heymans. Picked up off the floor. But there's a call. It's going to bring it back. Phillips, travel, I believe. Oh, that's the hand signals. It's like the Batskid player is saying that he took an extra step. Travel call is always interesting, of course. Ultimate being a self-refereed sport. Delightedly so, but Heyman's with the drop. See there's almost pained look on his face. Dosha tosses across. Giving and going, working in the backspace. Head ahead. This is really fantastic containment defense. Punctuous though, and just about keeps that back foot inbounds. Thomas Hartman, or Marcel Hartman even, with the goal. And that is bad skid back on serve. A response to the three on the trot to end the first half. Jet set hanging their heads a little bit, but it's just straight up errors, Francis. I think that bad skid is doing a good job. They've been very efficient on their on their D-line offense. Maybe one of the difficulties from Jet Set is those inside breaks are a key part of what of their strategy. They really like to get it to the to the break side using those really fast insides. Those are made quite difficult by the wind that we've got. A slightly slight cross breeze coming here, but the wind really has increased since the beginning of this game. Yeah, factors that should definitely be taken into account. And it has been a real up and down conditions wise weekend. But in particular this breeze today is that pool will sail well out of bounds. Dan Demare Gonna trot over and bring that back in. The youngster of Jet Set. Let's see if you can, Jet Set can put this point in, get them away from eights. Well, if we just trade it out still, you know, it's gonna be Jet Set to take it. But that one is really, really low for quite a big man to try and catch, and all oh, the misery double down upon a straight burn to the end zone for Samuel Boitenmuller and Bad Skid inching ahead once more. Demare flubbing the throw right there. Bad Skid really just putting the knife in and a little bit further, just letting Bitch Jet Set know, hey, we're not gone yet. The thing that makes me the saddest is even though I know Bad Skid are very good at playing defense and there will be pressure absolutely heaped on the backs of the throwers for Jet Set. It doesn't half feel like they've sort of lost a bit of their mojo. And when they've had it in this game, it's been beautiful, and they've gone on to score three unanswered. But the Germans responding in kind. They've just got to find that belief. Dan Demare showing that he is not immune to a turnover. 
He is a human he, like us. <laughs> <laughs> He's fallible. He can jump into the skies, but he does live here on Earth, in fact. <laughs> Paul just rolling inbounds. Blossman poached initially and then again. Options developing a little bit later from the stack. Haymans. Fix Robbins away. This is much better intensity from Jetset. Could see the air blowing out of Christoph Phillips' lungs as he churned that one down. Blosman high. Sits one on an absolute platter. Yummy, yummy. That will do nicely. More like that, please. Arno van der Roost bringing in the goal. That's what you get with the experience of a Tom Blasman. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, we just got slightly interrupted. <laughs> I don't know if our microphones picked it up, but we got by a wonderful human being just came and offered us sugar. Um, and I feel like she should go and run around to her fellow Jet Set Club members and, and go and offer them lots of sugar. Get a bit of energy, a bit of bounce going, you know? I think the Jet Set got energy just getting that point in. Their D-line definitely will need some more legs. And as you said, it's a little bit longer for them than it is for Bad Skin. But they're still so in this game. It feels like when you go three points on the trot down, like you're out for the count, but still in it. They're still up in terms of energy. <laughs> they're just trading down at the moment. Boyton Muller's all out on the pitch. Dorsha points to Muller, whose brother Marco no longer playing for Bowskid. Focusing more on his coaching career. Of course, one of the units behind the World Game squad and the German women's national team. Nico dancing in front of the miss. Britton Müller has to turn all the way around the world with the disc. But not really much happening, just the one deep cut. Surely that's going to be good, though. It is indeed. Michael Britton Müller collects from the paws of his brother. <laughs> it's infectious this chanting on the sideline I nearly started singing that zombie nation I know not Boyton Muller to Boyton Muller Nico Muller to Boyton to Michael Boyton there yep what a throw from Nico Muller he really showed off his throwing prowess in the world games and he just has it on display he that flick of his. He just moves his wrists and it goes the full length of the field. And a win like this, that throw is not easy. So, I've never really ha had cause to look this up before. But uh, with so many Müllers on bad skid, it translates to Miller, a person who works in a grain mill. And I feel like the, the Moolahs on Bad Skid are very good at grinding their opponent's will to play Frisbee by just being very, very good. But Jet Set with the disc. Lovely deep shot available, but a little bit too low and flat and easily picked off by Simon Hiller. Shall. Big around, that's going to hit the turf though. Not quite enough loft on it and the wind is pushing the face of the disc flatly down. Be really careful with those blades going upwind. Lofty offhand pass from Derare sets up the hockey assist. And that is a lovely goal for Jet Set. The hold required to keep them toe to toe. I think that Jet Set are actually executing their plan on defense. They're really they're switching on those handlers. Batskid loves the, loves the little give and go, the little dish throw just throwing around uh, a mark that's trailing them. Jetsmith's been switching and sort of slowing down the momentum between those handlers. It's an interesting difference maker because in the previous game, Jetset had to really focus on switching and the clogging 
the deep space because that was Gentle's real prowess. Whereas there are certain individuals you want to try and contain within the backfield. So the handler space. And if you could play, I don't know, it'd be interesting to see Jet Set if they can get a bit more momentum again. Maybe coming out with some kind of zone. Maybe even what colloquially gets referred to as an assassin zone. I think in that win, an assassin zone could be a potential strategy. A little box in one action. That pool's going to land quite far out of bounds. Just showing. The wind taking the disc away. But we don't mind a brick pull. It allows the defense to get a really good sense of what the opponents are going to do. And it's a vertical stack, a bit of surrounding from Jet Set. Let's be clear here. The two of us don't necessarily mind a brick pull. <laughs> There are advantages and drawbacks to everything, right? Boyton Muller. Still count getting high. Not a man easily flustered. Launches it into the hands of Demare. Fox stopping the roll. Visca dishes back to Bouchon. A man who can had Demare sort of poached, but a great redemption, Ward Fox. One of the two tournament directors here in Leuven. The man, the hero. Huge defensive presence for Jet Set. Dinky little pass into Demare's path. Delicate stuff. Trying to grind it around. Really love that slightly semi-air bouncy low release from Demare. Big launch, Demare underneath it. Reaches with the left hand and it's a huge grab. Jet Set put themselves back in front by one. Double happiness from the Mooncatchers player. And that block. He's, he's come back. You've got to call him a he's Jet come Set back. player. <laughs> he, originally knows? from Jet Set, moving to Mooncatchers for a season, deciding to come back to his hometown team. He, he was grown <laughs> here. Homegrown, <laughs> living They till the soil. <laughs> Speaking of, oh, I'll cycle over here. Leuven, I have to say, we've not made it into the city centre yet, but it is beautiful. And uh, we've cycled past many lovely gardens on our way to these pitches here. Oh, okay. An ambitious shot <laughs> to Demare there, but again, trusting your receiver. Know your receiver, right? <laughs> I, I like the ambition, though. You know, the, the beginning of this game was just so quiet and so, like... I'm not saying it was meh or like unremarkable, but it just felt like, oh, okay, let's, let's play some frisbee again. And now it feels a little bit more like energy has been injected. Bad skid have arrived properly. Jet set are now getting a bit more momentum again. But are they going to keep their pedal to the metal or is it going to swing back in the opposite direction once more? Showing a little junk look. Jet Setter pulling out the Hannah Pendlebury playbook. <laughs> Playing some zone. Who would have thought it? Walter Fogel. And Murla in the back set. Big poach exposed across the far side. Nice and calm. More of a puzzle than a battle right now. Oh, has a go at it, does Bouchon. Melt to match happens. Boyton Muller up line. And it's a huge layout bid. Martin Robbins, I think that was with the number five. And off to the races, he goes downfield, but off the pick. Gonna launch it to Bouchon, three bad skid around him. But that's just gonna tail out of bounds. Still excellent pressure from Jetson. I think as you saw when Demale got the hand block on the previous point, the pressure on the marks and the pressure on the handlers is really building. Robbins doesn't even touch that, but he just flusters the offensive player enough to make the wind flash in front of his eyes, make the disc move a little bit faster than he thought. 
Well, it also occupies a space and doesn't allow your ma allow your matchup to make the adjustment backwards. You have to then keep you have to keep your hips committed. You can't fully really turn around if someone is putting that pressure on your back shoulder, unless you're going to expose yourself to a lot of contact potentially. Ooh. Speaking of a lot of bump, that was a, probably a bit of loss of footing there from Tim de Beck. Feldwogel around to Boyton Muller. Bouchon breathing down the back of the shirt. Bouchon giving up a full head to Boyton Muller. Lovely gain at Adorsha. High lefty release, going to be picked out of the sky. This time it is a full on block for Robbins. But a bit of a collision. Just a thrower showing some frustration with the call. Understatement of the day. <laughs> but deservedly so, it's always frustrating when you make a big defensive play, you have all that momentum and energy, and a stoppage occurs, and you're like, oh, I was going to use that juice. Looking for an option for a reset. Up to big, down the line. Dish to Bouchon. <laughs> turning all the way around the world and snagging it out the air. Great hands from Moyerson. Hammer over the top to the soft side of the pitch. It's a knee slide catch for Cohn Villart. And jet set three on the bounce twice. Love this. This is a game of runs. This is exciting stuff. You can see that the body language from Badskid, they're not super happy, especially about that break. They had multiple chances to put that in, their offensive in right there. Jets that are playing loose. Again, this defensive line, perhaps a little bit more athleticism than clarity. <laughs> <laughs> As we see a double cut right there. Well, and an expansive hammer to the break side. What I'm really enjoying about this final match is that actually, I think in the semi, because Gentle know Jet Set so well, I think there was a lot of really tightening the lines up, not going through the depths of the roster so much. And actually, we're seeing a lot of faces in this final that it's the true representation of all of that Jet Set are, which I'm really happy about because it's also nice to see them, you know, firing and playing well. But bad skid. They've done it once to respond in kind. Three breaks to open up this second half. And it doesn't look like they're backed into a corner just yet. Big ripper, Boyton Muller with an absolute acre of space. Just gun towards the end zone. We'll take that, thank you very much. Has he still got it? We just don't know. We just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think the uh, the five meters of separation he had probably speaks to him still being quite good at frisbee, but uh, I don't know. I couldn't possibly say. You can see. Uh, you can see this, the realization of, yeah, he he is very gone, 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 gone. That doesn't even have to be a perfect throw, but it is already from Waldvogel. Yeah. I like oh. the extension that he gets stepping out away from his mark, using all of his body, using all of his core muscles, and he's putting some perfect touch on the wind. But did he use all of his trunk? He used all of his trunk. <laughs> Tusks and all. <laughs> we like to keep a bit of levity in the broadcasts here. But still very much anybody's game. 12-11 to Jet Set. Baskid cruised their way through to this final. See if they can find some magic and put the pressure. Undercuts are available. Oh, huge layout attempt. Nico Muller trying to steal the disc away from Dan De Marais. Blasman has Heymans. Target streaking deep. It's a little bit late and a little bit low, though. Not quite enough. Disher sized that one on perfectly. Yeah, perhaps a little bit of tiredness seeping and sapping away at Jet Set. Oh, 
Muller. Poised for it. Resetting around. This is good flow. A relatively easy uh, layout there for Schall. Sort of slow speed, but a bit awkward underneath. Solid flow. Now sort of moving more to a vertical stack. Inches away and an easy lead dish pass off the left hand. And a little spike to punctuate from Tobias Head. Tough break for uh, Levin right there. One of the things I like about Batskid's end zone offense is they really know Disher's strengths. He's a big man and he's good in the air, but especially you saw this on that German World Game team. Batskid has also used it to great, for great efficiencies. He is quick. He is a big man, but he really uses his agility quite well. He knows how to get position on uh, what are somewhat less springy defenders. So 12-12, the score. So we need to reset our board for you. People of all species enjoying this game. We see a couple of dogs. So Jet Set currently in a position of trading up. Where even Stevens, 12 apiece in the hunt for the golden ticket, which is disc shaped to EUCF in Wrocław, Poland later this year. Viane, the captain, into the center. Resets to the Krane. Oh, big effort to try and get the bid. Wibrus. Weberus, sorry. Throwing himself all over the place for Badskid on defense. High stall, laser across the top. Going to have to be run down. Great eyes for Robbins. It's going to overshoot Demaray, though. No bid comes. And it's coming back. It looks like there might have been a stall called. On, on TD Fax's throw. Well, they'll have a chat about it. As the rain starts. Oh. Oh, yes. We are uh, just going to shuffle ourselves across. So the, the, the rain decides it wants to be a factor in this match, but it cannot dampen anyone's spirits, I'm sure. Bit of a, a long chat about this stall out. I think it's going to be retracted potentially and then the, the turnover at the end of that section of play would stand. So the outcome would be the same, just different field position. But of course a contested stall out here would bring the disc back in play. Maximum stall count of eight. I don't know what they're talking about, honestly. I think that this could be resolved a little bit quicker. Well, that's all right. Self-refereed sport, sometimes these things happen. We could uh, talk about the Chess World Championships. We could. I have not seen the position. Fellow chess commentator Luke Burgess has told me that it looks rather drawish. Between Ding Liren and Jan Nepomdachi. <laughs> Although the actual uh, favorite sports of Jet set, apart from frisbee, are cycling and darts. Now, I've not watched a darts world championships in a while. Darts is an excellent sport. Any sport you can play while having a pint at the pub is a great sport. So, in a not great surprise to many people, that's going to be a turnover at the other end of the field, off the back of that overthrow, trying to reach Demare. Again, surprised, considering how good he is at throwing his body every which way, that there was no bid on that disc. I felt like it was within reach. Even, even Demare has limits, I guess. 
Surely not. He Surely. just wanted to leave some points for the other people. <laughs> <laughs> well, a very bouncy individual. But Badskid managing to pressure the turnover. And if they can punch this one in off the back of that turnover, then... Uh, wait. Discussion about the positioning. Okay. They've now wait. They've now said it's an accepted stall out over there. Okay, so it's it's one of one of the two outcomes. It's the shorter field for Bad Skid to use, as Stefan Dusha saunters past our booth with a smile. How how it put a lot of pressure on the mark right there, which forced that stall out. Although for a high stall release, that was a really lovely shot from Max Milan Viane. Inside shot, just about almost smacks Boitemuller in the face. Easy casual toss, or nearly gets tipped by the wind. Basket just about getting their claws around these throws. Oh, that's going to bobble off though and be ripped out of the sky. Huge grab from the number 95, Christoph Phillips. Low for Demarais. It's going to be called down by Kevin Schantz. Can I say, Francis, even from our angle over here, that looked fairly good. I could be wrong. That looked like it was up to me. In any case, even if it was close to down, I would say that the cool play takes precedence over the state of the disc. <laughs> No, it's the opinion of the person who actually caught the frisbee that matters most. And <laughs> I think Mare was pretty sure and firm that that was a catch. And what a catch it was. As you said, he's a bouncy human with a reach that spans very far indeed. Phillips takes the wind up, moves over to Blastman. And we've seen a transition to a vertical stack again for Jet Set, changing up the look not allowing the Germans to clog up the space quite so easily. Lovely one around. De Marais having to throw himself everywhere, perhaps off the back of the knock, having done it for that big, deep shot. Space available. Revit with the conservative around. Heymans. Oh my goodness, that's such a nice catch. Followed by a really beautiful throw to Blasman. Oh, that's obviously a goal. Jet set, hold on. Phyllis with an excellent put to Blasman. What a throw. I, every, almost every single throw on that point, I had my heart in my throat, except for that one. It looked like everything could have been a turnover or had to be a layout. And Chris, Phillips really, Cools it down, throws a nice inside. Let's take a look at that one again. That was a very scary pass to Heyman. Heyman throws and around. Christoph reaches just centimeters above the grass. Gets low and throws a picture perfect inside huck to Blossman. Waldvogel can't do anything about that. Taller, bigger Blossman just wards off the contact. Well, 13-12, Jet Set keeping themselves that nose in front as we get ever closer to the finishing tape. These games, maximum cap of 15, 70 minutes regulation playtime. These elite, not elite, spring invite events. The invite's a whole nother ball game. Flat ball, we mean. So, Baskid looking to keep themselves in this final. High one, but no one anywhere near the receiver. Reynard into Dosha. Disciplined vertical stack, nice angle. The way Muller moves is a thing of beauty to watch. Boyton Muller in the back space. And the big man proving he is back. Has he still got it though? <laughs> I think he's answered that question at this point, hasn't he? 
How many deep shots is that where he's so far away? All you have to do is to well, put it in the region. three goals for Boyd Miller and two assists. Holger Boyd Miller, number 19. I think he's shown that he is back. Back with a vengeance. Well, it's interesting. I don't think there's really that many players that are at that level that have a, a season off for an injury or personal or whatever the reasons. I really enjoyed during the pandemic how many uh, female athletes had sneaky COVID babies. Use that time wisely. In fact, yesterday we saw Sidka de la Fortri coming back after her second child. Love to have her back in the community, playing as well as doing all the other things that she does to contribute. I believe a number of women on that Belgian nationals team becoming parents Indeed. in the past and few years. And also several on this jet set side as well. The dino dads. But two really established European programs. Going toe to toe in this final. So jet set. Begin to put themselves ahead. That is an ankle breaker of a cut from Demare. Blasman. Nice fiery inside flat flick. Phillips. How's Blasman going up the line? Stall out called. You can hear the, the number rising through our headsets. Excellent defense from Badska. This is the second stall that they forced. Just shows fantastic defense. Like, honestly, as a, as a D line handler, that is as much as flashy blocks are really cool and mess with the heads of your opponents. A straight up stall out, you, everyone's done their job. No one's had to peel off or do anything crazy. Shal around to Mula. Firing one to Dosha. That's going to go way out of bounds though, Blastman, just making sure. Let no offensive players get it. Demare just about makes it. Oh, my word. These stack lines for both sides. I take it back. I don't think that he actually is human. <laughs> he had no way of getting that, and he just magically teleported to put it in his hand. He is a Frisbee wizard. Oh, lovely vision there. Plenty of time and space on that throw for the realization to be made. A little stumble, but fine. Kept by Demare. Big Philip one. puts it again. Big pack under it, hospital pass, and ripped out of the sky by Jonathan Shell. He shall grab the Frisbee, but his teammate won't. Straight up drop, Marcel Hartman. Half field. It's a chill one. Oh, going to be tippled out. And great way to keep the body in front. Stefan Buscher denying Heymans. Hartman now. Delicate pass up line to Boyd Muller. Then back. Dorsha. Low one. Well kept by Schall, having made that massive grab. Easy, gentle, over the top. And that is Bad Skid back out in front. Back and forth game. I don't think I can think you take too many more points like that. I do hope that, Bad, that Jet Set put in this O point, bring it to Universe. Right now, it's Bad Skid's game to lose. They're on top for the moment being. Timeout called unsurprisingly by Jet Set. They do have the wind with them. Which would probably give them a little bit of an advantage. But look at this excellent grab from Damali. <sighs> Great extension. It's a shame though, it's that kind of even amongst a huge pack of jet set players, 
basket. Just that little bit something, something. They're They've been here before. <laughs> well, yeah, but also that, you know, it's just the... I think the pressure's starting to get to Jet Set again, and it's because Bad Skid are taking away options A through C. You know, we've seen two stall outs. But all star lines for both. One can't help but think that Jet Set have taken the time out to give themselves a bit of time to take on some hydration, but a must score point coming up. A little high release Oyo right there from Schall for the point. Samuel Boyton Mueller. Batskid understood the importance of that point. They stacked their line. They had Dusher and Boyton Mueller on there. I have to say, what was an Oyo? You said it was an Oyo for the score. An Oyo. Throw. An Oyo. <laughs> Describe? That outside in, inside out flick to the, uh, to the inside lane. Kind of a fashionable throw these days. Becoming popular on certain. Dutch mixed teams that made it to quarterfinals of Worlds. worlds. They love that little Oyo. Blading it over the mark. Tough throw to execute. When it works out, it's pretty deadly. So, an O-line coming out. Blossman, Demare, Heymans, although it's the Robins underneath. Oh, and Madrid. One of the two fives. Oh, it's going to be a big ask. Nearly. Not for that man. <laughs> 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 Turns on the Jets last minute as the youngster for Leuven. Down to Marais, a high one, but who else to throw it to but the Dutchman, the flying Dutchman. Heyman's holsters that. He had a real good look, but it's going to be a beautiful break down the far sideline, and we are in universe point here in the finals in Leuven. Second universe point in a row on the stream. What a throw around from Heymans. <laughs> and the second time where there's been a late stage comeback against Jet Set. Currently, they've done one. But now they're coming out on defense. It's contact on that throw. Wow, Heyman's just, the mark comes over and gets a big piece of his arm. He bought insurance on that around. But here we are at Universe. Will it be Jet Set, hometown heroes, or the ever-present elder statesman of German Ultimate, Bad Skid? I have to say, the way that the O-line's been clicking and humming for Bad Skid, I think this might just be a straight up clean hold. But the wind is starting to get a little bit zestier. The rain is falling, just keeping things interesting. It's going to be a nice sitting, floating pool. It can be run down and we land just in bounds. Bouchard trying to stop the big huck, and that is a miscommunication for Bad Skid. I, do you think the crowd was shouting the word Müller? I think they were crying, shouting Leuven. Oh, Leuven. <laughs> oh, well, whatever it was, it got into the mind of Nico Müller, a man that is very difficult to shake off of his A-game. But it has happened. Can Leuven, can Jet Set, finally become the bride, having finished second so many times. A building season last year, that bronze from Ebook. It will be a great party to be at this evening if they can manage it in Callahan County. Christoph Phillips with the disc. Sat in the own end zone, Demare. Gonna have to squeeze it out. Just about inbounds. The face of Max Milan Vianney watching that be caught was a picture here on the sidelines. But great containment from Bad Skid, just pinning these Belgians to the line. Oh, what an expansive shot. A stall out's called. That's going to have to come back. But the Diva. Oh, my goodness gracious me. If that has to come back, I might cry. Unfortunately, that does not matter. No, it only if it's if it's discussed and retracted, the play can stand. 
but that was a stall out quite some time ago. But Tam de Marais, oh my holy lord. What an <laughs> unbelievable recovery from de Marais right there. My mouth hasn't been open for about 20 seconds. <laughs> So, we're going to have a chat between Hartman and uh, that, but that, that shot, I have to say, to Lucas Bouchamp is a really just delicious lead inside, really easy for him to run down, got away from the mark through a, a very risky biscuit. But uh, of the stall outs we've had so far, that one did seem close my heart is pounding so fast I could not tell you whether that was 10 seconds or two <laughs> well we're gonna get an action replay from stall eight the margins on this point are just razor thin Batskid may have turned it over but they are defending on the hips of every single jet set player. Absolutely, so two seconds to do something good. We might see an action replay of that inside to Bouchard. However, the mark's probably gonna take it away. It might just have to be a ripper straight into the space. But this, currently there's a good spread of the jet set players. They really are far away from each other. But the... Uh, now, of course, going to come back. But Bouchon sort of in a nice isolation position, but matched up against Nico Muller. Maybe we'll see Ward Fock coming through. He's been having a very nice tournament. Impressive considering he's also one of the joint TDs. It's the same shot once again. Not quite the same momentum, so there's no deep shot off the back of it. De Marais, happy to take a bit of contact. Absolutely sells the mark. But happy to take the resets. There is no need. After seeing De Marais making that huge play. But we'll get to stand in history forever. Dosha does everything he can, but it's not enough. Demarais trying to direct traffic. Things getting a bit clustered upfield as they advance towards this first event championship. Batskid having a small victory right there. Every time that Demarais was getting the disc, they were shouting, no long, no long, no long, no long. Mark really limiting his, his deep selection. I don't mind that at all. I'd much rather in this situation have Dan Demarais on the other side of her. <laughs> if he wants to throw a deep. Best of Dusher earlier in the point. Oh, lovely hands. Christoph Phillips. Everything that Baskid have going into this last point. Demare with the offhand toss. That's gonna sit and rise and hang. Can it get there? Not quite. Called. Not sure what the call was. Pick. There we go. Well, still plenty of space. No mark to speak of for another maybe second or two. But can Jet Set hold the nerve? Demare just having a little look over the shoulder. No immediate bounce to the cone. Dishes back. Bouchon coming through. Demare potentially on that far side. It's there. Oh, could it be? And they've yes! done it. <laughs> Jet Set are taking home the goal plate and the free bid into the EUCF later this season. The host, their first major event for the EUF, and they take the prize. My goodness. Phillips jumping into the arms of his teammates. What an incredible game from Leuven.
What resilience from Jet Set. Down multiple points in this game, they come roaring back. And on Universe Point, they manage to get the D and the score. Hannah, what a game. An absolute just grind fest for both teams. Not one of those tradey, tradey, one break says it all kind of grind matches in contrast to the semi we had on this live stream. That was a real battle and just the psychological game of both these teams to take yourself away from that. Okay, we've just conceded three points on the bounce. How on earth do we pull ourselves out of the hole? Both teams did it. Jet Set took the first go and finished it out on home soil. There's going to be one heck of a party tonight. I wonder if in the same way when they won the bronze back at the beach championships, they might spend all the money they earned on eating their own cock, monsieur. But we'll have to find out. There's been some great toasty action here on the field. But thank you so much to all of the Jet Set players. Well deserved, well fought, and also just well hosted. It's been a real pleasure to be here in Leuven. The conditions haven't been perfect, but we're able to feel all of our appendages, our toes, our fingers, our faces, because that game kept us awake and alive and our blood pumping throughout. Francis, thoughts, feelings, questions? Is there any question that, M that Demare is the MVP of this game? I think that he really put his team on his back. Of course, a huge supporting cast of Jet Set players, but the man coming up with every big play that he needed to. Absolutely. There have been some real standouts on the D-line as well. The creativity, I think, for Jet Set. The, the Germans had such a good system. The question of, is Holger Beutenmüller back? Absolutely, equivocally, yes. And watch out for them. Basket, I'm sure, will be marching their campaign forward across Europe the rest of this season and I mean we've had it where they've brought 10 people to EUC <laughs> qualifiers <laughs> because they're a bad skid and they know they can get through on that just alone but great to see them with a strong roster out in this tournament I think probably just the lack of being pushed earlier on this weekend probably gave Jet Set that little squeaky advantage as well as just perhaps a touch more desire Nothing like winning it, winning it in front of the home crowd. The Absolutely. Jet Set won the fields. They won the game. Now they can go home with gold, or stay home with gold, rather. And yeah. they can go to Wrocław in the fall, knowing that they did the work before. So looking at our stats, and thank you, you have so much too. Luke Burgess, primo stats man. Coming out here, so Jet Set, I mean, it's just even Stevens. Five clean breaks apiece. How more evenly matched can you get? What a game. <laughs> it's just, yeah, that, that, that's literally all you need to see. So that's going to wrap us for our coverage here so that we can uh, wrap ourselves <laughs> and get some, uh, get some food on, get some, get some dry layers. But it's been an absolute pleasure to bring you the first European Ultimate Federation event of the season. We'll be bringing you plenty more. It's going to be a wonderful 2023. If you want to watch back any of the streams, you can do so free to access forever as long as YouTube is existing. And let's be honest, that will outlive the cockroaches, definitely. Um, you can also check out all the games from Padova and obviously check out the results online from all the other events for this spring invite series. But we will be back if you want to help us throughout our season, sponsor our coverage. Rockstars need money and so do ultimate broadcasters. You can sign up to our Patreon, go to patreon.com slash TV. Make sure you are giving back to help get streaming across the world, down under and in Europe. But that will wrap us. Congratulations once more to Jet Set. They are going to the European Championship Finals in Wrocław, Poland. I have a feeling we might see the players from Baskid there too, but it'll all have to be played out later on this year. For myself, Hannah Pendlebury, for Francis Dieselie, Luke Burgess, Chips, Felix, and a handsome Rob, tirelessly working in the rain, and all of our friends at UltiDV. We will see you at the next one. Thanks for joining us.
We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. Sideline smiles. Our past is held in photo albums, drinking stories. The present is a gift. And here at Ulti TV, we want to make sure we always appreciate it. Capturing the immortal moments of Ultimate from around the world and making sure everyone can enjoy them for free forever. Because the future, the future belongs to all of us. We are Hive Ultimate a group of players and coaches from all over the world working together to progress the next generation of Ultimate Strategy. We've helped top teams win world championships and new teams introduce the sport in a fun and inclusive way. Search for Hive Ultimate on YouTube to learn more about our cutting edge strategies and to see analysis of world-class teams. To find out what Hive can do for your team, head over to our Patreon page where you can gain access to our exclusive drills and session plans and to join our worldwide community of coaches. Get ahead of the curve with Hive Ultimate. Enjoying the show? Show your support for the live stream and the people making the show. Buy a super chat or super sticker on YouTube directly. Select your donation and type your message to the world. And share. All donations go into directly funding new shows. Buy a super sticker or super chat now. Thank you. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend, or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Ulti.tv